guys, welcome to Sunday in Canada. It is a labor, it's Labor Day weekend, and that basically means that there is one more day of this weekend. One more long, one more long day, and then Sam's holidays end. It's been so awesome having Sam home. Sam, I want you to quit your job. I want you to go back to work. <laughs> He's like, I, I need. Back. You can't wait till he goes back. Let's work. Why? Because. Because why? She's annoying. <laughs> Out of the mouths of babes. She said you're annoying, but I'm pretty sure she thinks I'm more annoying. You want me to go to work? You want me to go to work and dad stay home? Mm. And teach you? Yeah. Remember when I was in the hospital and dad I had to... not teach. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a teacher. Gabby admits that you're not a teacher. Then that's something. Every time I open the door, the dogs run out. And then sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm not ready. And I close the door and then I forget that the dogs are out there. And then I'm like, wait, get back in here. Anyways, anyways, welcome to today's video. Obviously, I have a lot of explaining to you. We need to talk about the horse that we tried. Like, there's a lot to talk about, you guys. You guys know that we tried a horse yesterday. Some people were really disappointed in our video last night. And I apologize for that. We got home. We got home so late. And then we still had to edit and it just was like a confusing time trying the horse. It wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be at the beginning and then it got a lot better and I wasn't able to share with you guys exactly what I was thinking, what I was feeling. I think you guys just got a fresh pony tread because yeah. she was away for a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's true. She, they were away camping at a cottage and so she sat in the field and she's not like, Pesofinos are not calm easy going horses they're like let's go kind of horses which is what i like but anyways it it just was such a Bye. rush and it, there was just there uh, there was just so much going on at that place like everybody and their dog was watching their us try the horse which was fun they were all really kind people but it was just overwhelming and we were all on a nervous like we were all shaking with nerves like the owner and me and gabby like it was just insane i think horse trials in general are hard in a nutshell i was worried about her size not her size like her girth or her or her height i wasn't worried about that i was worried about that her legs are not super oh, thick and strong that's not going to change so if i ever wanted to ride that horse I would have to change. I would have to get thinner. I would have to get thinner. So that would have to change. Honestly, I was conflicted in so many ways. Imagine a time where God could just tell you what to do. God could just say, Laura, this is what's going to happen. He could just tell you this is the outcome. And then you went into a situation already knowing what was going to happen. Make it so much easier. But in fact, that is exactly what happened to me. Long before we went to go and try this mare, I told you guys I felt like it was a done deal, a for sure thing, and that's because God showed it to me. And I know it's hard for you to understand unless that's been happening to you your whole entire life, but for me it has. And I saw Gabby in our field lunging this mare, and before I even saw the mare, I saw the mare in my dream. And Gabby was lunging her and I was thinking, oh my goodness, what the heck did I get myself into? Because she's a lot of spice, she was a lot of a spicy horse, but when I was there and I took time to just walk her around and just spend time with her and just just spend time with her, my heart was so open. Like this is this is a horse that I this horse could offer me so much, maybe not so much yet. Maybe the riding part isn't perfect yet for her or for me, but for my soul, this horse could offer me so much because when I walked her around, I could feel so many things like and then I still was conflicted. Like, should I bring her home? It's only a trial. I don't have to keep her. Like, I still didn't want to make the wrong choice. I feel so strongly about making choices. Making choices are so hard for me. And then I thought back to my dream and how God already told me that I was going to bring her home. So, yeah, I brought her home. <laughs> Buying a horse is such an emotional situation. And I'm going to explain more about it later. But anyways, you guys, meet Evie. <laughs> oh, gosh. Meet Evie. Hello, Evie. Aww. She's looking pretty calm. You're looking pretty calm. She is an outdoor horse. Her owner wasn't sure how she'd do in a stall, but we didn't want to introduce the horses in the dark of night. I didn't want to place her out in a paddock in the dark of night. So Evie came inside and spent the night in a stall with all of her little friends. 
and I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like when we brought her home. But before I do that, I want you guys to know that I don't know what God has in store for us or for Evie or our connection, but I know she's meant to teach me something and I know I'm meant to teach her something. Sometimes God brings you people into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And I don't know what it is going to be with Evie. But I know that she speaks to my heart and to my spirit. And I know that God wanted me to bring her home. Whether it's for a trial, whether it's for a lifetime, I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to see though. We're going to see. She doesn't take any supplements. She doesn't take anything. She's got amazing feet. She's a super sturdy mare. Gabby said she was so smooth. You are running like a maniac. The oh, when they both do it, it sounds like it's gonna fall off. Yeah, the cats have taken over the barn, you guys. We can't get them spayed, spayed and neutered until they're six months old. So we have till the end of October. Ollie ran off outside somewhere. Oh, But they've taken over the barn. They've taken over everything. Like we can't keep them in now. They're just crazy little beasts. Sometimes they're even on the ground by the pool. Yeah, like they are exploring. Like, they are exploring their neighborhood. Today we are going to have to go and take care of our horses, which we are really excited about. Girls are going to be riding. And Gabby's meeting up with Kaylee. Kaylee's going to haul her horse there. Um, and the other girls at the barn, and they're going to do their weekly trail ride. Like this is becoming a thing for them. I love it for them. They won't take a camera. Gabby needs some privacy and some time on her own to do her own thing with her friends. And oh, my heart is just racing. <laughs> oh. And um, uh, Sophie and so we're gonna ride in the indoor first, and then they're gonna go for their trail ride. Sophie's gonna ride Finny. Kaylee's gonna ride Tex. Like it's just gonna be a great day. Um, and but first, before we can go there and do that, and we're gonna. <laughs> that is the sound of a baby kitten. <laughs> Where is it? Hayloft. Oh, they're in the hayloft. Yeah, that's why it sounds like that. Um, so today uh, we're just gonna put them out here and we're gonna watch and see how it goes. We're gonna throw some hay, give them some food so that everybody's happy and hope for the best, you guys. We're gonna hope for the best. So we're putting Evie and Gracie out. Yeah. And uh, waiting for them to get. Should we bring Gr Evie out first? Yes. And let's let her walk her around and let her see, let's explore. my horse whether it's Evie or not is to learn from her I want to learn all the ground stuff I want to learn to make her my own I want to spend time with her I want to go for walks with her all of this stuff I want to do on the ground I I want to ride her that is, that's the ultimate goal but I firmly believe that when you bring a new horse home you should if you can you should let her have time to acclimatize to that area like you guys saw what happened to Gracie I don't know if you guys saw what happened to Gracie I didn't document it very well but she was such a spooky horse and nobody could ride her at the barn at the school barn because she was 
so crazy and they had no riders for her and we brought her home and she's probably our most sane happy horse in this whole entire farm so i just want to give her time i just want to give her a little time and then we'll get to working with her more but i want to spend time with her and i think that's what my soul is crying out for hello so are you going to take her off the thing now yeah oh shouldn't we just take her off throw hay and take her off and let her run for a few minutes and then bring gracie All right, so Gabby already took her off. We took her off, and she's actually like way calmer here than she was at that place. Remember when Stella snores? Yeah, Stella's a snorter. She's just want, just let her relax for a few minutes and figure out what's happening here. But so far, like she's been a dream since we brought her home. She was more upset and nervous. Like I think we pulled a, a fresh pony out of the field everybody at their barn said oh my gosh she's never acted like this before and i've seen horses act crazy like that and for all the people who are concerned about how she's moving that's how horses how pasofinos move they have a big huge shoulder action their legs fling out from their shoulders it's a really awkward looking move but that's how they move she's eaten she's just going from pile to pile we have a lot one two three four five piles of hay uh because we've learned with willow to have lots of piles of hay. If you have lots of piles hay of hay and the horse runs you off, then there's always a pile to go to. Also, oh look at see, she's already bonded to Gabby. She heard the door. No, she was looked at you. She's nervous. So we're bringing. Do I like where she her arms? I'm so sorry. Oops. I'm so sorry about the lighting, you guys. It's just so yeah, bright out. Uh, oh my gosh, your eye is ripped open. Oh, she has an eyebrow. Yeah. Yeah. You get it. And the... Well, that was the most eventful thing ever. Sorry about the sun, you guys. They basically just smelled. Uh oh. <laughs> Gracie's like, what's wrong with her eyebrow? How did she hurt it? I don't know. Probably in the stall or something. Gracie, that was pretty. That was beautiful. Framing. Wow, yeah. you guys. Like, I feel like. No, it's not done yet. Gracie has to steal. Gracie has to try to be the boss, and then she'll be like, uh uh, sweetie. And Gracie will be like, uh uh. Don't run from us. Good girl. You're okay. It's okay. You're okay, sweetie. It's okay, Evie. She, this horse knows her name. I watched her owner, owner go out into the field. <laughs> Look at that pretty girl. Do you think she's saying, leave me alone, leave me alone. I'm not going to fight you. I, I, I think that's the boss of you, but I'm not going to fight you. Is that what you think she's saying with that posture, making herself look all pretty? Mm, maybe. Because when our horses run away, they're not pretty. Yeah, she's trying to make herself look gorgeous. Yeah. Probably I'm thinking back to when our horses all came running, galloping through the field to us. They don't frame. They, they don't wrap. They looked pretty bad, yeah. They didn't look bad. They just looked ratchet. Well, they, yeah, they did look ratchet. Oh. Oh, and she's cantering. So... Clearly, Gracie is more upset about this than than our than Evie. Gabby, just leave them. That is another thing that kind of what worries me about bringing a new horse into the mix of our girls is that 
I don't want to mess up Gracie, even though horse her dynamics are normal. I think it can be so different than how we do it already. As long as she doesn't beat up the innocent like Placing. Storm. As long as she doesn't beat up the innocent like Storm, then she'll. Yeah, I don't think she's a beater upper. Oh, look at Gabby. She, you touched her. She's bonded to Gabby. Look, all right, you guys. It's so calm. They both like Hello, she's Karen. she's great with the other horse. Like she, that's so far. No. All right, this is where it's good. Oops, watch out, Gabby. With how many of them? This are this is where it's gonna get dicey. He comes, Meanie. Or she's just gonna go to the egg. So good girl. She hasn't even noticed. Uh oh, she's noticed. Willow okay. Willow doesn't know. Willow honestly does not know. Don't stand there. That's, she's a she's kicker. Kick so at her old field, she was in with a mini. They're all watching. What's good? Uh oh. Don't. Ah 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 ah. Not at the fence. No. Willow will just go under her. She's short. <laughs> Remember when Willow tried to kick Stella? But then she ended up going underneath Stella. Yeah. So sorry, great. Sorry, Willow. I know you she were here first. Rude to Willow. She's well, that horse was uh, Evie was gonna kick Willow. So at the new play, at her old knocked down a couple pegs. At her old play, she was a, a, on top of the minis, but below the bigger horses. So she might be dominant here. She might be like we don't know she what's gonna happen. Gracie. She shouldn't do that to Gracie. Yeah, she respected Gracie. If she can beat Willow, she's at the top of the herd. Uh -huh. She can beat Willow. She's at the top of the herd. Gracie's old. All right, let's take bets on it. Think Willow's gonna. Willow still, never gives up. You think Willow's gonna persevere and be the the queen? Mm-hmm. You think Willow too? No. You think Evie? Yeah. I'm so sure. I definitely think Willow's going to persevere and be the leader of this group. Did Willow you see how? She, you see how much better Willow listens when we tell her not to do it though. Like she was gonna kick, and we said, ah ah ah, stop it. And she's like, she looked at us. She looked at me and was like, oh, okay. It kind of reminds me of tail. somebody else. All right, so anyway, that was completely uneventful. I mean, obviously that's not the end of it. It's, things are gonna get crazy, especially when the hay runs out, but we'll be here. I'll be here to throw more hay. At least for the next couple of days while they get used to each other. But yeah, that was pretty good, and that warms my heart, and that makes me feel better. Remember, you guys, I know a lot of you guys didn't see the video, but Pasofinos are a totally different breed. You can't judge them on the same criteria that a regular non-gated horse is. They don't move up and down. There's not that concussion when they when they ride. It, so they tend to be able to carry more weight and also so you don't post on them. Like there's so many differences as well as that they have a shorter backed back which means that they're like a stronger, hardier, heftier horse even though it's hard to tell that. But her, the size of her legs is the thing that is not as good. Her pasterns look great. Like I was watching to see. Yeah, like she's got great pasterns. Like that's not a problem. Someone said that they noticed in the videos, in the video that she didn't, that they weren't as, as nice as Camilla said they should be, but they are good. Um, it's just that she's not like a super heavy boned horse, I think is the problem. So if I want to ride this girl and if I want to keep her, then I'm going to have to get smaller. And that's just the way that that will have to go. So we're going to see, we're going to see what will happen, you guys. I mean, I should put the GoPro down here and watch what they do. But we have more things to do today than this. So she did come with all of her blankets. She's got four. That is a heavyweight, a fleece cooler, a fly mask. She also has an um, insulated rain sheet, it feels like. She said it's her rain sheet, but it feels insulated. Wait, maybe not. So she also has a rain sheet. And then she's got a medium weight, which I think is probably what she wore most. What? It's eyes are open? I think there's a different one though. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the heck? What? She ditched her eggs. She ditched her eggs, but there's another baby. It is really cute. That's a healthy one. Oh, <laughs> look at it. it's mama, mama. We need to get some fresh water. All right. So let's see what's underneath there. Look at it's trying to go under. You have to lift her up. Seems like he's doing better. Yeah, he does seem better, the little sick one. But we have Wait, one healthy I wanna, chick. I wanna... So this is the sick guy. So we take him in, we're gonna take him in and give him food and water, because I don't know if he knows how to, like oh. I don't know how much he can see. Our house is such a mess, you guys. Don't look around too much. Yesterday we had to leave and we have this little, Sophie has this feeding station on our table. 
should put something down. Yeah, put a towel down. So, put him on the table. He doesn't stand on the table. Yeah. So, we've been kind of mushing his food with water. So, he actually is putting his head down to the bowl and drinking. You missed it, but he'd had a bit, he kept on, he was drinking himself. Much blurry. Back it up a bit. So then, we try and give him some food. See? He will eat. Just not that much. So he would definitely live. If he ate more? If we could feed him. The other one looks very healthy. Yeah, the other one is so healthy. This one literally just came to us. He's also starting to Oh, look him. at that. Did you see him just wolf down that big piece? All right, so this is what we decided. We got Mama Hen in there. She's having some blueberries. And you can't tell, but she's got two little babies under there. And we have some food and water and everything set up. This, having her in this little shed at the back of our house. See, she's loving her blueberries. So having her out here in this little shed that's attached to our house um, is really going to help. Hopefully they can't get through that little hole. Um, it's really going to help us to feed the blind baby until we figure out what we can do for him. Um, it's going to be able to allow us to come out here and get him easier and feed him. She did abandon her nest. She had a few more eggs on there. Most of them were not even developed or anything. They were just regular old eggs. One, one was probably going to be a baby, but when we got to them today, they were freezing cold. And I think the reason she, she abandoned them is because we kept taking her sick baby. But we had to take the sick baby. We wouldn't have never found the band around his leg. It would have caused more problems if we hadn't got that taken care of. So... Yeah, so, so live and learn. Like, Sophie and I want to be chicken farmers one day, so. Finn already saw Sophie. They know we're here. <laughs> See, they think that's their own personal. I probably saw Chino. Hi guys, how's it been? I mean, it's less muddy. I'm sorry we didn't see you yesterday. 